Guys, take a look at the screen. We got some new starting pitchers in here. We got Burt Blylevin. We've had him for a while. 89 Garrett Cole. 89 Noah Syndergaard, who actually just turned into a diamond while I'm doing this commentary. This gameplay is a little older. Masahiro Tanaka and Steven Strasburg. I put this team together Saturday, which would have been April 30th. Take a look at the lineup. A couple new additions. Added Jose Batista. Added Robinson Cano. Um, and we added Carlos Correa. Just some guys I wanted to get some gameplay with. Try it out, you know, try some guys out, mix it up a little bit. And we're going to jump into a game here. We are the home team, Masahiro Tanaka on the mound. It's my first time pitching with him. So we'll see how he is, whether we're going to keep him, get rid of him or what. This guy's an okay team, not really. Uh, but we'll see how they play. You know, there's really, really good silver cards in this game. Like I've been saying for a while, you know, you don't need all diamond cards. There's guys that I play with all diamond teams that are horrible. And then again, you know, the way I've been hitting lately, I have a pretty good team and I'm going to get beat by some crappy teams. So first batter, 2-2 two, two to Coco Crisp. And that curveball is disgusting. 76 miles an hour, we freeze him. Next batter, Freddie Freeman, 1-1 one, one count, 2 outs. Trying to stay on the outside part of the plate, the pitch. And we hang or sinker and Freddie Freeman crushes this ball deep, deep left field. And Jose Batista can't quite climb the wall to get that one. So that is going to be a home run for Freddie Freeman. Same inning, two guys on, 2-2 two, two count. And we're going to get Chris Davis to ground out here. And that's going to get us out of the inning there. So we get away with only one coming in. So here we go, bottom first, Ichiro with the plate. And we're going to pop this one up, guys. I've been doing so bad with Ichiro. And I've been hitting terribly. I don't know what's going on with me. You know, I started off hot, and now I can't hit for crap. But 3-2 to Prince Fielder, and we're going to take the base on balls here. That's going to bring up Nolan Arenado. Only hitting 200 with him. Like I said, my hitting has been terrible. Going over some things right now. I think we're going to get it sorted out. But the first pitch of the at-bat, Arenado is going to crush this ball deep. Left fielder left fielder's going to turn around and take a look at that ball sail into the stands for a two-run bomb for Arenado. That's going to be a two-run game. Next batter, Jose Batista, 1-2 count. And he is going to rule over this one. Bounce to third, third baseman. Fires on to first, but this throw is going to get away from Freeman. And Batista is on base in his first at bat. So here we go, Robinson Cano first at bat with the Pittsburgh Rams. Jose Batista on first, up one run here, top of the first, the pitch, and Cano crushes this ball deep right center field, and it's out of here. We just get it over the fence, scraping the wall on that one. Chris Davis can't believe he couldn't make a play on that, and we are up 4-1 to one here, so maybe our offense isn't as bad as I thought. Next batter, Carlos Correa is going to put this one up the middle. He makes a beautiful play there, but that's going to be a base hit. 77 speed with Correa is more than enough to put that one away. And here we go with Russell Martin trying him out at catcher. He's been playing pretty well. He is going to strike out as we chase that pitch in the dirt. And that's going to be the other one. So top three here, Freddie Freeman at the plate again. And he's going to crank this one down the line. That's going to be fair. Uh, Roberto Clemente plays it off the wall. And we fire into the cutoff man enough for him to stay at third. So Freddie Freeman quickly becoming our nemesis in this game. Next batter, this is his creative guy, I believe. And he is going to just hit a little dribbler here. We will not have a play at home, so we're going to have to take the sure out at first base. So another run comes in, so it's a 4-2 to two game now. 3-2 to Alex Gordon up next, and we're going to strike him out with a really nice slider. Masahiro Tanaka's fastball isn't that great, but his off-speed stuff is awesome. Top 4 0 2 2 outs to Steven Vogt. The pitch, and we catch way too much of the plate, and Vogt's going to crush this one deep left field, and it's going to be gone. Steven Vogt with a solo home run, and that's going to bring him another run closer. Bottom 4 here, runner on second. 3-2 to Russ Martin, and we're going to hit this one back up the middle. That's Carlos Correa. We're going to send him around third. The throw is going to be offline. And Correa is going to come in to score. We get that run back on the Russ Martin single. Top six here. Runner on first. D Gordon at the plate. Just got busted for PEDs, but he's still a fantastic card in this game. The 98 speed is something you always got to watch out for. You always got to make sure you're playing the bunt. We forget to go into bunt formation here. And he's going to hit this one up the line. A really hard bunt. Nolan Arenado fields, but still not enough time to get D Gordon. If we're playing bunt defense, we'd have had it no problem. Steven Vogt up again. Sinker low for a ball, so we got him 1-0-2 outs here. Two runners on. We got uh, Chris Davis on second and D Gordon on first. We're going to put one right down the middle there for a strike. 1-1 count here. The pitch, and we're going to try to bury that slider. We cannot get him to chase. 2-1 count here. Tanaka at almost 90 pitches. He's getting a little tired. 
He hangs this one, but luckily Vote just fouls that off. Can't do much with it. 2-2 two -two count here, two outs. Still a two-run lead. The pitch, and we hang a curveball, and Steven Vote demolishes this one. 449 feet over the first set of bleachers in right field. So next batter here is Fred McGriff pinch hitting for his pitcher Lance McCullers. And Fred McGriff, the crime dog, is going to get into this one. Jose Batista looks up and just gives way because this one is gone. Another big home run, 7-5 to five here. So top seven, we have Carter Caps in the game. We're going to strike out his created player with two runners on. One out now, Alex Gordon at the plate. One, two, count the pitch. And look at that pitch. Oh my god, how do you not call that a strike? This happens way too often in this game. You know, it's it's unbelievable. This happens so much where you put pitches well in the strike zone. Next pitch here is going to be inside, so we have him 3-2, and we should have had him struck out already. One out here, Carter Caps delivers, and we get him on the inside fastball, but that's three more pitches than we should have had to throw. Next batter, Chris Davis, and he is going to pop this one up. Prince Fielder moseys on into foul territory, and he's going to tuck this one away. So we are getting near the end of this ball game. We're still down two runs, bottom seven here. Ichiro Suzuki at the dish, and he's going to lay this bunt down, a perfect bunt. Third baseman picks it up and can't quite make the throw, and Ichiro's going to beat this one out. Steven Vogt here. we got to be careful around him, and we strike him out. Tony Watson, that lefty delivery. Top nine, his creative player at the plate with two guys on, and he crushes this ball deep right center field, and it's out of here. Barely clears the fence. Steven Kowalowski, I think his name is. Last chance here. We strike out with Robinson Cano to lead off the bottom of the nine. Fernando Rodney in the game. Carlos Correa up next. Carlos Correa out next. Little dribbler. Vote picks it up and fires onto Freeman for out number two. Next batter, our last chance. Fred McGriff pinch hitting here. And he crushes this ball deep right field down the line. And it's just going to go foul. Could have started a two-out rally there. One-two count now. Two outs. Rodney gets the sign. The pitch. And we chase the high fastball. And we are done. We lose this game 9-5. to five. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, I have a significantly better team than this guy. And he whooped me. You don't need super high overalls to be good at this game. You need good timing. You need good pitch selection. And look at that, Steven Vogt, you know, two homers, four RBIs. That's going to do it, guys. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new. A little more offensive action in this gameplay than there was in the past couple, which is good. Uh, not necessarily good for me because I gave up nine runs, but good because it makes the videos a little more entertaining. We're going to get ourselves an Archimedes Camonero here. Pay attention. I'm going to be dropping more content very soon. Thanks for watching. Frank the Tank signing out.